Cancer, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your general love tarot reading for September 2020. We're going to find out what's going on with you guys in love. Cancer, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, okay? So it won't resonate with every single Cancer out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, do check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign as well as the other videos on my channel. If it hits home, if it resonates with you, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button so you know when I upload. Also, Cancer, if you want a private love reading, let me know. The information's in the description box. If not, but if you want to be in the know of upcoming deals, special offers, and promotions on my readings, go ahead and sign up for my mailing list, okay? Also, connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, all the details are in the description box. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you and whoever you're dealing with, whoever is on your mind in love, could be someone you're dating, in a romantic situation with, all right, whatever. All right, Cancer, what's going on? Like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. All right, what do we have? All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So you guys can be dealing with an earth sign here. It looks like you may have had some kind of relationship of some sort in the past, okay? Now, the current energy between you guys, ooh, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there was a big ending here. I think you guys were involved or committed to someone or perhaps working on it, being in some kind of established relationship. But it looks like something came to an end very quickly. This was sudden. I feel like this was very... Um, dramatic the way things ended between you guys but the tens are about endings and this sword is definitely could have been some betrayal okay could have been something here that um it could have been some drama it could have been some fighting but i ultimately feel there's some kind of betrayal okay so you may feel like you've lost trust in this person they may have left you for dead okay that kind of energy just kind of um completely abandoning the situation you can be dealing with someone who just literally just left okay um gemini libra aquarius energy here on your person's mind is the nine of swords so your person's trying really hard to forget about what happened okay Almost getting the sense that they're trying to block it out. I do feel like it's caused a lot of disturbances. It's, it definitely has been something here they were thinking a lot about. Um, a lot of stress and anxieties about this ending with you, okay? Now, how they view you is the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, I don't get the sense that you guys are communicating right now. I think that maybe you guys have pulled back. Cancer, um, they have pulled back. I think right now you guys are not showing each other any attention, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries, your person's feelings and emotions is seven of cups. All right, well, that's probably the reason why. Your person, whoever you're dealing with, Cancer, they may have been unclear of what it is they wanted from you, okay? Perhaps they were acting like they were in a relationship with you. They were treating you um, like they wanted a relationship, but ultimately, it looks like something didn't happen, okay? And they may have left you in a place of confusion, okay? I almost feel like that Ten of Swords probably came because, Cancer, you weren't aware of their true intentions for you. I feel like you're dealing with someone who was very up in the air regarding love, okay? They certainly could have other options in love, other people that they're involved with or dating. And it may be a lot of confusion in a situation as to where you stand, but also how your, your person feels about you. I almost feel like they're not really clear on what it is they want, okay? So we got some water energy. How do they see moving forward? The moon in reverse. So yeah, Cancer, you're dealing with someone who is a little bit deceptive. They could have been holding back, could have had some secrets, okay, regarding um, their emotions, their feelings, the way they felt about you. I think they were holding back. They were repressing something here, okay? And I think the main reason why was because they may have had other people they were involved in or with or because they just very very much confused when it comes to their feelings okay perhaps they're not very openly expressive when it comes to that as well i do get the energy someone was really holding back okay not really putting in or expressing their true self and you may have felt like you know this was a lie or this person deceived you in some way all right you guys could be dealing with another cancer or pisces but something's coming out i feel like your person wants to reveal something to you with that moon in reverse about these emotions they have for you or the feelings that they've been holding okay holding back what's happening external to you what you don't see the page of cups 
So right now you're dealing with someone who's, um, they're trying really hard to hold back their emotions, right? They're really trying hard to not tell you how they feel. There's an apology I feel they want to come towards you with, okay? You may also be expecting an apology from this person, but I feel like they're a little bit guarded. I'm getting an energy of they're just not sure how to come towards you. Um, they're trying to make sense and trying to understand this dynamic between you guys. Um, and I, I feel like they're really struggling with coming towards you with this apology. All right. Advice from Tarot is the chariot, okay? That's your energy, Cancer. Moving forward, taking charge of your life, okay? Your love life. What's the outcome here for the situation? The death in reverse. So I feel like someone's resisting change here, okay? Um, but also, the death in reverse. This is like, if something came to an end, which it sure did with that Ten of Swords, I almost feel like your person is, something here isn't truly done, okay? I almost feel like your person feels unsettled. There's a lack of closure between you guys, all right? I feel like right now, I think you guys are in recovery mode. I feel like your person may be giving you space, maybe kind of withdrawing and holding back because they kind of want you to get over whatever happened, right? They're kind of blocking it out themselves here with the Nine of Swords in reverse. I really get the sense that you guys are both trying to move past uh, past whatever happened, okay? This could have been recently, a couple days, a couple weeks, a couple months ago, and I almost feel like you guys are trying to pick up yourself, and they're trying to give you space, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, yeah, the Nine of Wands in reverse. So I feel like ultimately you may have been fighting for this situation or this connection with this person. You may have given it your all, Cancer, and to the point where you just probably decided, you know what, I'm not going to fight for someone who isn't going to fight for me. That Ten of Swords, betrayal, feeling abandoned, feeling like you're the only one that's really in it to win it, right? You're the only one who's really trying to make effort or advance this connection, okay? You could have definitely been dealing with someone, Leo Sag Aries, who was very charming, okay, very good looking, um, attracted a lot of attention from other people and they kind of could have just been a little bit immature okay when it came to actually um being responsible and, and taking charge of this connection okay so perhaps this person you may have been dealing with them for a while but maybe they were just in and out of your life okay and i feel like you're just at a point where you want change okay you want something to be different you may have wanted something more from this person and they probably weren't able to give that to you all right so cancer let's get right into your reading a little bit more i'm gonna use the light seer's tarot to clarify I think I'm talking too much. All right, this nine of wands in reverse. I think this is your energy, Cancer. You're not fighting for this. You're giving up on something here because you just feel like someone just is not putting in the work here, right? The two of swords in reverse. You're making a decision to let go of something here because it's like it doesn't make sense to keep fighting for something that just is that someone does not want, okay, with you. And I almost feel like you guys may have been stuck in your head, confused as to what to do with this situation, but you're no longer going to be in a state of confusion. You're making a decision and you're going to move forward, right? And that's what spirit is telling you to do. Take charge of your life. Don't allow this person to keep you hanging, keeping you stuck and confused. Now, the recent past, we got that nine of pentacles in reverse. What's this about? I think you guys were definitely in, again, a situationship with this person. You may have been looking to, to be in a committed relationship, okay? Nine of Wands. That's what you guys were working towards. I think that was your goal, to be in some kind of established connection with this person, to be an item, to be um, a partner, okay? Love partners, romantic partners. And I think that's ultimately what you guys are striving for. That was, you know, your goal. You were, you were very passionate about this person. I think both of you guys really wanted something, but... Something just made a turn for the worse. What's this Ten of Swords about? And I think that you guys could have had great potential to be a, a really um, a beautiful connection. I think that's something here was really worth fighting for. But again, you're not going to fight for something here that you're the only one who's putting in work. The King of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I think you guys were very disappointed as to what happened. You were definitely in your energy, the King of Cups. But in the reverse now, someone blindsided you. I feel like someone has hurt you or hurt you at the core. And Cancer, you're like pulling back, okay? That Page of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse, you guys are like completely devastated by something and it's hurt you so bad that now you're just emotionally closed off i think you guys have completely tried to detach from this person or you feel so unbelievably hurt okay i almost feel like you guys the king of cups in verse you guys are like very upset about this okay so it's very um it's definitely hurt you because you've had feelings that have developed for this person you may have been the one who was very um 
emotionally available and open and showing this person all your true affection and nurturing the connection. I think you guys have put it all. This was that King of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who you're, it could have been an earth sign, I mean, a, a water sign or an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you may have felt that they were emotionally manipulative, okay? They may have, again, with that moon card and the seven of cups, they certainly could have been, you know, um, acting as if they were really, you know, uh, interested, okay? And may have shared feelings that weren't really there, okay? But let's find out some more. What's this king of cups about? We have the two of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys may have felt this person was juggling you in another person. It could have been another option, certainly with the seven of cups. And I feel ultimately you may have decided um, or someone decided that they can no longer keep juggling, okay? Someone made a decision and I almost feel like it cost your heart cancer. They sacrificed this connection or sabotaged this for something else, okay? And they could have been very, um, I'm also getting the jealous energy. Maybe the other per party or person or you are jealous. I'm getting some, someone's jealous about the situation, jealous of your connection with this person. What's this nine of swords about on your person's mind? I feel like your person was definitely affected by this ending, okay? Whatever happened, if they betrayed you or your trust, they're affected, but they're not revealing that. I really feel like they're trying hard to get over it and move past that energy. Okay, let's find out some more. What's this about, this Nine of Swords? I think they've, they've spent a lot of time thinking about it afterward, okay? Yeah, that Five of Wands, I think that this person definitely had some struggles. They may have some challenges as well. Perhaps they may have had a lot of other things on their plate as well. The Two of Pentacles could be responsibilities, family matters. Um, Maybe they had another connection. They had children. I feel like your person had a lot on their plate, and it could have been some challenges and struggles with managing that, managing their time. And I think that they're very upset about that, okay? If, this, if they were not dealing with the third party, your person legitly had something Thing, um, like a big burden or responsibilities that got in the way of this connection, okay? And so I do feel like they have hurt you because maybe perhaps they weren't moving forward, right? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. They weren't giving or putting in the time, energy, and effort into you, Cancer, okay? And you may have said something about that or expressed that. And I feel ultimately their decision was to literally just move away from this connection and break, and break the connection here and no longer put... Um, any energy into it that ten of swords is like sudden it's something here that you may have felt this person betrayed you i feel like it came out of nowhere now how they view you is the page of wands what's this about there definitely could have been a lack of communication from either you or this person yeah a lot of withholding of information or communication right now i think right now you guys are just not talking no one is willing to reach out no one's wanting to make amends here i feel no one's really wanting to make that take that first step okay now, in your person's emotions and feelings, they're very confused. Seven of Cups. They may have had a lot of options in love as well, which brought the confusion. The Ten of Swords. So, they're confused about this ending just as much as you are, okay? I do feel like they're a little bit, um, there's definitely some frustrations about this, okay? Ten of Swords is, again, hitting rock bottom. They are in this... They're feeling this Ten of Swords just as much as you did, okay? So whether they betrayed you or not, they're still feeling this very difficult ending and they're trying to overcome it, okay? And they may be feeling um, emotionally um, just drained by it. There's a lot that's up in the air. Um, they don't know what to do. Let's find out about this Ten of Cups. What's this about? Wow, because the Four of Cups. Because now they feel like they've made a decision and they don't know... They're, they're looking at the consequences of it, and they're really regretful, okay? Your person, they know whatever they did, okay? It could have been bringing emotional confusion to the situation, other people. Regardless, they know that they caused this very um, painful ending, and it caused a lot of damage in this connection. And now this Four of Cups are feeling really guilty. They feel really bad. They hurt cancer, and they feel like they missed an opportunity here with you. With the Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy, your person knows they did something that was unfair to you, that you didn't deserve this cancer. They look at you as being, you know, very loving, very caring, um, empathetic. You always give to others. And they feel that, you know what, what they did was unfair. It was uncalled for. They may have mistreated you in something or some way. And they are very regretful, okay? Now, with that moon in reverse, how they see moving forward is probably coming, opening up about something here that they've been hiding from you. What's this moon about? Something here that they were... 
just not very open about. They could have been something, could have been secrets, could have been mis mis mysteries and stuff like that. What's this moon? Or it could just literally be repressed emotions, the eight of, eight of swords. So your person, there's something here your person isn't telling you and it's keeping them feeling trapped and stuck, okay? So it could be something here that they're going back and forth in your head about, the tower. This is big, okay? So something really happened in your person's um, life, okay? Some big um, tower moment is typically very destructive. It's a big sudden upheaval. It causes change, okay? Whether it's in their home life, their personal life, their family, their um, work, career, okay? And this person is not saying something here okay and I feel like it's keeping them stuck it's keeping them trapped in their thoughts they feel like they can't tell you and they want to come up they want to open up to you about it they have something to say okay and they're trying to release they're trying to get out of their head but they're overthinking to the point where they're not talking to you at all okay and we do have the page of cups in reverse so there are feelings that they have for you okay let's find out some more but they're not really telling you okay and that's where that moon card comes in look at that the death card it comes out again so I feel like your person really does want to change the situation. They want to transform this connection. I do feel like they really want a new beginning. I feel very much a reconciliation for some of you guys. I don't think that, you know, I think that you were devastated by the ending because it was so, it was such an, a powerful connection. And I feel like your person is really, very much well aware that they've mistreated you or they've done something that was very unfair, right? The Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Justice in reverse. They did not do you right. And I really do feel like they want to turn things around. I do feel like they want to come back and make it up to you i'm i really get the energy they're struggling on how to come towards you they're still very much in this tower energy they're not really um in a stable place or in a place where they can really come towards you with a plan of action okay that seven of cups a lot of confusion there's a lot of delusions this person's not seeing reality but they do know they want a rebirth okay they want a resurrection a revival of a connection here that may have died okay what's this death card about and I do feel like your person is aware that they caused this damage. And that's why that four cups is there. Like regrets, remorse, hurt, you know, feeling guilty. Okay, and wow, we got the four wands. See, 11, 11 card, soulmate energy. Your person wants to unite, okay? This is typically coming together in a home front, domestic harmony, peace, love, celebrations, engagement, okay? So this is like wanting to reunite, come back together, and bring stability, order to the situation. I think ultimately your person desires to come and be with their person. Someone here that makes them feel... At peace, okay? Brings harmony to their life. Let's get some clarity here for the four wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. You guys could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. You have strong Scorpio energy with these death cards here. Wow. The the wheel, okay? So the wheel signifies um, a closing of a chapter. It signifies change, okay? So I do feel there's something here that's changing in this connection for the better, okay? It certainly could bring this union, okay, of a, two soulmates who are now very distant, okay? Those who are in separation. If you're separated from someone, you've been waiting. I do feel that there's something here coming together. The wheel also in the upright talks about positive outcomes for movement. So let's get some more clarity. That chariot also is taking charge of your life, Cancer. So let's see what that's about. What's this about? Ooh, Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. So this is... <laughs> So the high priestess actually came out in reverse. So um, ace of swords. So this stuff, definitely truth coming out about this person. They want to speak some truth to you. There's communication coming in. And I think it's going to give you the clarity that you need. Okay. I think it's regarding certainly this four wands coming together in the home front. Okay. But I think ultimately this, this ace of swords, truth, clarity, communication is going to allow you to move forward in your life. It's going to allow you to take charge of this connection, whether it's moving toward the four wands energy, union, celebrating. Okay. Um, I think ultimately there's something here that has to come out in the open okay and that's what that high priestess talks about coming and being something here revealed okay the high priestess in reverse is something here that's been either kept from you or kept on the hush okay is now coming to light the veil is coming off okay and that's what the moon talks about as well in the reverse this is definitely secrets coming out coming to surface whatever has been kept from you in the dark behind closed doors it's now coming out so we got two of these cards both revealing that something is coming out and with the ace of swords so a lot of, definitely i'm seeing a breakthrough in communication again i know right now you guys aren't speaking there's definitely withholding of communication okay not not expressing how each other feels but i think there's going to be communication coming in there's going to be a rebirth of something here a resurrection reconciliation i do see 
with this tower once things settle once the dust kind of settles and everything i do feel like your person's gonna let go of something here of feeling stuck and they're gonna come towards you i think there's gonna be a breakthrough you're gonna get some clarity as to where you guys stand and i do think there's gonna be some kind of union coming back together so yeah i think that um this looks beautiful cancer so let me know if this resonates, okay? So like, share, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button so you know when I upload. I appreciate you guys.